Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just bought this brand new Ruger to make me do ya. Hit you medulla, bitch, you know that I got shooters. They call me Scooter, but I'm a pimp like I'm Cooter, dad. I remember everything right to this day. Some of this shit wasn't even here. Those apartments wasn't there. Give me some time to play with that, man. My mom leaves five kids in here from here by way of project. Was it any stores or anything in this neighborhood? Yeah, right down the road. It's not a store up here now. It was Mr. Forbes' store. They burnt that down in the 60s, doing, doing, doing the rocks and shit. They killed the death boy uptown. And they did some shit. Yeah, in the early 60s. I was a kid. Then they got one thing standing up there. I looked for the, for the, uh, what was it, a race ride? Pretty much. This shit going on came to burn that shit up instead of burning the white folks shit up. They went downtown and did a lot of shit up. Police kept the black boy right on the corner of his lawn. On this lawn right here? Court, the corner of his uptown. Oh, the courthouse. Yeah. On, oh, I, 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 on, I, I on Main, on, the on Main Street. On Main Street. Then I'm coming up. I moved to the projects. We upgraded a little bit. We didn't have, even had running, we had running water, we had no toilet. Inside toilet, we had to go inside with a fucking bucket. Shit pop when it's my turn at night. I ain't want no parts of this shit. I was scared of the dark. Maybe, maybe 50, 60 feet back. And then every year we had, we used to, his name was Sam Horse, we called him Sam, Sam the shit man. And he'd come, dig that shit up with a backhoe, dig a whole buried, shut it down. And then they, oh, they, so they upgraded on it. With a backhoe, dig the bottom, the back of the bottom of the toilet out, bury the shit, come back maybe six months later, do it again. Because that was our source of bathroom. And a thing we call a, uh, some people call it a night pot, we call it a bucket. You piss saying you shit in it at night. Oh, okay. it, everybody had to turn to check it out. Seems like every time my turn came, it was dark uh, and moving right along. Uh, uh, my neighbors live there, they own the house to this day. Then we moved uh, projects, uh, we had to uh, walk uh, to the projects. Uh, uh, tell us about the projects when they first, when you first moved there. Projects, uh, projects was the best thing ever happened to us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We, were they just had been built? Or was they, were just, they were brand smacking me when we moved there. Here? Yeah. And what year was that? I don't know exactly, it was in the 60s. In the 60s? Yeah. Maybe 65, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And from the projects, mom got able to build a home on Mohawk Avenue. Okay, so let me tell you, let me ask you a little bit about the projects. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what was so unique about the projects back then that you grew up in? Inside toilet, electric, big, bigger houses. It's, it, this was two bedroom, five kids. We had three bedroom, five kids. So in other words, we ended up three so boys, two girls. This, uh, one sister, four boys. Four boys. So one sister, four boys. Yep. But y'all athletic, y'all played in the sport. Right. Yeah. What school did y'all go to? Elementary school, Pioneer's Elementary. From Pioneer's Elementary to Bennett. From Bennett, from Bennett to Morgan State University College. My mother joined me and my brother in 1977. Mother joined two sons in high school graduation. She needed one credit. We made the newspaper. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The Civic Center had burnt down. We walked across the stage at Salisbury University, at the Salisbury State College. Oh, okay. The club is in downtown in the archives. So when you were when you was growing up in this neighborhood, tell us a little bit about the neighborhood. I mean, uh, what was tell it is like now. It was a bunch of hustling up here. That's what that's what made me the man I am. They shot they shot dice all day on Friday. Everybody called chickens and shit. And back in the sixties, five hundred dollars was a whole lot of money. My mother worked through the sewing factory. She making sixty. My dad had two families at one time. Every time he put a baby in, my mother he put a baby in his wife. And he and he went out like a soldier. Including your brothers and sisters. All of us is whole. Ain't no half. Twelve. 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 Stair step. Uh, yeah. Um, so, as far as the street, line, yeah. because I heard you mention you said something about hustling. Can you yeah. tell the people what you meant by hustling back then? The old heads are shooting dice, shooting dice, shooting dice, shooting dice, catching chicken, anything, anything necessary to feed their families and shit.
But there was it a heavy presence of police in this neighborhood? No, it wasn't. Now? No, it wasn't. The police didn't come to this hill with nobody and nothing. They weren't allowed up here. So y'all had unification in the neighborhood? Uni unification. They said, if you're not from the hill, don't come to the hill. Oh. I left the hill and I had to sneak to the hill. You turn that, my guy, over there. I had to sneak to pump water from a pump. My great grandmother, she lived to be 114 years old in this house. Now we need to walk that way and get that good footage to keep it moving. Just standing still and getting it. Just standing still and getting it. Follow me, paparazzi. Hey, I'm keeping the beam, man. I'm grabbing my stuff. I'm getting on my kitty cat. We're going, we're going to my lazy hitch house. We're going to my lazy hitch house. And it's still standing. She never had electric. She never had running water. She had a pump. That's what made me so pure. Pump water. Ain't nothing no pure than no pump water. Have you ever heard about it? It comes straight out the ground. And it's ice cold. Everything's great. If these niggas give me the check they're supposed to give me. If not, if not, something will happen. No any shit, man. This real shit. If you, if you want me to get cut, I can't be cut, Mr. Photographer. I ain't cut with nothing. Get him to it, Mr. Fred Giddy's house done. He was upstanding person in my community. He lived right there. 701. 701, that's where my Aunt Dot lives. The house is still standing. My great, great grandmother, Lizzie Hicks, 703. I looked a lot of shit. The pump might be still standing back here. Let's walk around the back and see what's going on. She put an iron on the stove. The iron closed. But they, 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 she had, she had, she had a lamp. What they call them? It wasn't, it wasn't kerosene. It was coal yeah. The pump. She had grew her own garden. Look at it now. Should have been a museum. They should have made it of a museum. But guess what? It's still standing. It's still standing. Just like me, I'm the last man standing. The pump was located right about here, and I used to come and pump that water. Pump that wood, look at the original wood he stuck. She, she grew, she grew everything organic. We used to call it, we used to call this the pony yard. Miss Pauline Salvin lived there. She's still kicking, I think. And that's a little bit of the story. Then we can take this shit to the barber shop. When I made those two kids at 16 years old, called the in and out of the windows in the project and went to Pepsi Cola and paid for the kids. Okay, hold on though, hold on for a minute because you said Austin was it? Was it? Austin, not of today. Straight down, there wasn't no drugs being sold. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Shooting that's dice, two dice. And, okay. and it's a game called Judge the Skin, you guys probably don't know nothing about it. You put the cards in the box. You pick your card. Say I pick a queen. Mm -hmm. You pick a 10. You pick a three. You flipping them, you flipping them, you flipping them. Right. You fall. Your car fall before mine, I take that money. Mm -hmm. Then you get your dirty card, start all over again. It's called Georgia Skin. Mm -hmm. Skin you win. Skin you win. And around the corner, in the early 80s, the first piece of crack was came that's all good. At the Steve Swan Inn. But this shit is a whole lot different now. They didn't ship them shit in. Mr. Slim Tigger store is a church now. That's the only thing standing. His house is still standing. The row houses, we got one of them standing. I used to see them roll people up, kill motherfuckers, and roll them out of there. Right there. As a kid. But over there, Hitch is still standing, y'all. She the last man standing. They should have turned that shit into a museum. Because it got, it got history, man. That woman lived to be 114 years old, right in this house. I got pictures of her. The neighborhood was called what? The hill? What's the overhill? How many friends did you accumulate in this neighborhood? Everybody was friends and family. Everybody? Everybody. Even Everybody. And then your cousin got killed and they named the Killer Hill. Sure. Sure, I remember. And they named the Killer Hill. Yeah. Remember that? I remember. Come on, baby. You got Come on, times. baby. We ain't done yet. Moving right along. We did a bus stop. Now, yeah, the bus stop was right, right on this next corner. Yep. 
What are you saying? If my grandma stay right down there in house yeah. for years. Bunny, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. All right, guys. Charge up now. See you at the barber shop. Okay. We're going to finish this shit today. And get some more. Yeah, and get some more. Tomorrow we going live. We live now, for us, Uncle Sir. I'm going to see you at the barber shop and give y'all the rest of the story. Thank you, Brother Bill. I'll see y'all when y'all get there.